Number 10. What is your weight measured by a spring scale as you fly through the air over a trampoline? Uh, assume that you can keep the spring scale beneath your feet. Well, if you're flying through the air uh, and the spring scale is over there and both you and the spring scale are flying through the air then both you and the spring scale are in free fall which means that there will be no reading of there will be no reading on the spring scale so your weight measured on the spring scale will be zero because both you and the spring scale are falling okay so there will be no possibility of a reaction force as you as you're both free falling okay all right so number 11 uh, no no I'm interested in 12 you stand on the spring scale placed on the ground and read your weight okay so there you are again con constantly measuring your weight so there you are, you measure it and you get a certain weight. Okay? Certain reading, you make it you have a reading there. Then you take the scale into an elevator. Okay, there you are again. You're just so obsessed with your weight. Now you take it into an elevator, hoping that it could be less in an elevator. And um you take it into the elevator. Does the dial reading, does does what you read on the scale, does it increase, decrease, or stay the same when the elevator accelerates downward? So you've got a acceleration is down as it moves upward. So it's the velocity is up, but the acceleration is down. Okay, so how do we attack this problem again? Free body diagrams. So let's say this is you. Okay, that's you. Let's call it P for person. Then what is the free body diagram? We know that we have FG acting down. Uh, let's say that's Earth on the person. And then we've got, so we've got the gravitational force pulling you down. And then we've got this force of the scale on the person, the normal force, right, pushing up. So there's F normal scale on the person. Now before we, let's let's look at this case here where uh, we had equilibrium. If we have equilibrium, then that means that our acceleration is zero, which means that your the normal force of the scale on the person equals the gravitational force actually with magnitudes here the force of gravity of the earth on the person these two forces are equal and what we saw in the reading is that the force the normal force of the scale on the person the scale onto the person equals the normal force of the person on the scale right these two forces are equal and opposite which means that the force of this person onto the scale, this one, equals the gravitational force. Okay? Now, what's going to happen if our acceleration is negative? So we're, accel we're moving up, but we're accelerating down. What are we, what's going to happen? Well, our acceleration vector is down, so if we say the sum of the forces in the y direction, let's call this the y direction, is mass times acceleration, then the vector sum of forces must, if there's an acceleration down, then it means that if I add up these, vector, these forces vectorially, I need to have a resultant force vector down acting down okay so um, 
what we know then is that if this force of gravity is then greater than this normal force right because I need a a a resultant force acting down to get this acceleration that's down that means that this normal force is smaller than that gravitational force which means that the 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 force of the person onto the spring is also smaller than the gravitational force okay so does the dial reading increase decrease or stay the same it decreases so as as there's a downward acceleration then there needs to be this vector sum of forces which is down which means that this force is smaller than this force which means that that normal force of the person of your weight your the re, the force of you onto the scale is also smaller than this gravitational force so if you if you want to lose weight get on a scale and either free fall or uh, or accelerate downwards I think that might that might help although it won't it won't change the root problem but that is definitely one way of doing it okay okay 13 explain why astronauts in an orbiting space station are able to float around in the cabin well remember uh, it's not because there's no gravity on them remember if there's the earth and there they are floating around the earth remember the the gravitational force over here was about 0.9 of the gravitational force uh, at the surface so it is still pretty big right so so there is definitely gravity that's pulling them down it's 0.9 times g so it's still still substantial but so the reason why they are floating is because first of all they're falling they're in free fall they're accelerating down but at the same time they're moving sideways so they move sideways and they move down so let's see how can I draw this so they they want to move down they are moving down but they move sideways at the same time so they end up over here right for example so they were here they fell they f accelerated down but they moved sideways so they landed there now they want to accelerate now they're moving that direction and they accelerating down so they end up there now they want to accelerate down but they're moving this so that they end up and they keep moving like this around uh, in an orbit okay there's tons of information on this online so I suggest you go and Google why do astronauts float around in space okay cheers guys